Numbers Chapter 16 Now Korah, the son of Izhar, the son of Kohath, the son of Levi, went apart with Dathan, and Abiram, the son of Eliab, and On, the son of Peleth, the sons of Reuben. And they rose up against Moses, with certain of the children of Israel, two hundred and fifty captains of the assembly, famous in the congregation, and men of renown, who gathered themselves together against Moses and against Aaron, and said unto them, Ye take too much upon you, seeing all the congregation is holy, every one of them, and the Lord is among them. Wherefore then lift ye yourselves above the congregation of the Lord? But when Moses heard it, he fell upon his face, and spake to Korah and unto all his company, saying, Tomorrow the Lord will show who is his, and who is holy, and who ought to approach near unto him. And whom he hath chosen, he will cause to come near to him. This do, therefore, take you censers, both Korah and all his company, and put fire therein, and put incense in them before the Lord tomorrow. And the man whom the Lord doth choose, the same shall be holy. Ye take too much upon you, ye sons of Levi. Again Moses said unto Korah, Hear, I pray you, ye sons of Levi, seemeth it a small thing unto you, that the God of Israel hath separated you from the multitude of Israel, to take you near to himself, to do the service of the tabernacle of the Lord, and to stand before the congregation, and to minister unto them. He hath also taken thee to him, and all thy brethren, the sons of Levi, with thee. And seek ye the office of the priest also? For which cause thou and all thy company are gathered together against the Lord? And what is Aaron that ye murmur against him? And Moses sent to call Dathan and Abiram, the sons of Eliab, who answered, We will not come up. Is it a small thing that thou hast brought us out of a land that floweth with milk and honey to kill us in the wilderness, except thou make thyself lord and ruler over us also? Also thou hast not brought us unto a land that floweth with milk and honey, neither given us inheritance of fields and vineyards. Wilt thou put out the eyes of these men? We will not come up. Then Moses waxed very angry, and said unto the Lord, Look not unto their offering. I have not taken so much as an ass from them, neither have I hurt any of them. And Moses said unto Korah, Be thou and all thy company before the Lord, both thou, they, and Aaron, to morrow. And take every man his censer, and put incense in them, and bring ye every man his censer before the Lord, two hundred and fifty censers. Thou also and Aaron, every one his censer. So they took every man his censer, and put fire in them, and laid incense thereon, and stood in the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, with Moses and Aaron. And Korah gathered all the multitude against them, unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. Then the glory of the Lord appeared unto all the congregation. And the Lord spake unto Moses and to Aaron, saying, Separate yourselves from among this congregation, that I may consume them at once. And they fell upon their faces and said, O God, the God of the spirits of all flesh, hath not one man only sinned? And wilt thou be wroth with all the congregation? And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the congregation, and say, Get you away from about the tabernacle of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram. Then Moses rose up, and went unto Dathan, and Abiram, and the elders of Israel followed him. And he spake unto the congregation, saying, Depart, I pray you, from the tents of these wicked men, and touch nothing of theirs, lest ye perish in all their sins. So they got them away from the tabernacle of Korah, Dathan, and Abiram, on every side. And Dathan and Abiram came out and stood in the door of their tents, with their wives, and their sons, and their little children. And Moses said, Hereby ye shall know, 
that the Lord hath sent me to do all these works, for I have not done them of mine own mind. If these men die the common death of all men, or if they be visited after the visitation of all men, the Lord hath not sent me. But if the Lord make a new thing, and the earth open her mouth, and swallow them up with all that they have, and they go down quick into the pit, then ye shall understand that these men have provoked the Lord. And as soon as he had made an end of speaking all the words, even the ground clave asunder that was under them. And the earth opened her mouth, and swallowed them up with their families, and all the men that were with Korah, and all their goods. So they and all that they had went down alive into the pit, and the earth covered them. So they perished from among the congregation, and all Israel that were about them fled at the cry of them. For they said, Let us flee, lest the earth swallow us up. But there came out a fire from the Lord, and consumed the two hundred and fifty men that offered the incense. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto Eleazar, the son of Aaron, the priest, that he take up the censers out of the burning, and scatter the fire beyond the altar, for they are hallowed. The censers, I say, of these sinners, that destroyed themselves, and let them make of them broad plates for a covering of the altar. For they offered them before the Lord, therefore they shall be holy, and they shall be a sign unto the children of Israel. Then Eleazar the priest took the brazen censers which they that were burnt had offered, and made broad plates of them for a covering of the altar. It is a remembrance unto the children of Israel that no stranger which is not of the seed of Aaron come near to offer incense before the Lord, that he be not like Korah and his company, as the Lord said to him by the hand of Moses. But on the morrow all the multitude of the children of Israel murmured against Moses and against Aaron, saying, Ye have killed the people of the Lord. And when the congregation was gathered against Moses and against Aaron, then they turned their faces toward the tabernacle of the congregation. And behold, the cloud covered it, and the glory of the Lord appeared. Then Moses and Aaron were come before the tabernacle of the congregation. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Get you up from among this congregation, for I will consume them quickly. Then they fell upon their faces. And Moses said unto Aaron, Take the censer, and put fire therein of the altar, and put therein incense, and go quickly unto the congregation, and make an atonement for them, for there is wrath gone out from the Lord. The plague is begun. Then Aaron took, as Moses commanded him, and ran into the midst of the congregation, and behold, the plague was begun among the people. And he put incense and made an atonement for the people. And when he stood between the dead and them that were alive, the plague was stayed. So they died of this plague fourteen thousand and seven hundred, beside them that died in the conspiracy of Korah. And Aaron went again unto Moses before the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and the plague was stayed 